What's up guys, Charles here with D2IPDesigns.com and I'm bringing you another tutorial. Today's going to be a Cinema 4D tutorial where I'm going to cover um, some of the lighting effects I used um, and techniques I used in um, my video abstraction. Um, I got a request for this, so here we go. Um, for the floor, I used, well, a floor. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, move this platonic up onto the floor. Let's go ahead and adjust this here. There we go. Move this up. All right. So um, next thing, I'm gonna grab out um, the softbox. Gonna grab out a couple of them, and um, now I don't remember the exact location of these, but I placed them around the um, platonic or the abstract object, um, and I um, I adjusted the brightness of them, and I changed the color of the uh, light. So uh, let's go ahead, come in here. Um, the, the color on the one was um, slightly orangish yellow, something like that. And then I believe the other one had a very, very light blue. So something like that, I believe. And this will drag over here, something like this. And uh, Let's see it here. Already, that's looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to turn on global illumination. Uh, for now, um, since we're not rendering anything, I'm going to put it, the uh, settings to low and preview. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new material. Um, the material I used on it, um, I think it was uh, slightly gray with a little bit of reflection with a for now. I think it was something like this. Let's see how that looks. Now, yeah, I think that's it, something like that. Now, um, I think this might be a little too blue and I think this might be a little too orange. Let's try that. Yeah, I think something more like that. And then I'm trying to remember, I think I put a material on the floor. Yeah, it was a darker material than that. Um, I wish I could remember exactly what I did, but um, I can't, it was a while ago. So anyway, this should give you a pretty good idea of what I did though. Um, if you guys are wondering where you can get soft boxes, um, I sell a uh, light kit. It comes with a bunch of stuff. Um, you can check it out on my website. It's um, pretty cheap. Um, it's like 15 bucks. Um, from what I know, I have the cheap or one of the cheapest um, light kits, and it comes with a bunch of stuff for some really cool features. Um, there's some other light kits you could get, but they tend to be a bit pricier. Um, they are good though, you know, there's plenty of other really good light kits, um, including Grayskull Gorillas. But um, like I said, those tend to be much pricier. Uh, Grayskull Gorillas runs about $69, mine's $15. Anyway, um, I think that's about it guys, I think that's about all I did. Um, as you can see already, we're getting some good lighting, some good shadows. Um, we can turn the reflection up a little bit more maybe, and hopefully we can start seeing some more reflections on here. Let's turn this around. Just check it out from some different angles. But uh, yeah, um, here you can start seeing some uh, reflections here. Um, let's turn on um, ambient occlusion and just see how that looks. Probably look 
pretty good. Improve some of the shadows and stuff. Yeah, so that looks quite nice. And again, you can start seeing some of the reflections now. So um, we can go in here and turn on best two by two. That'll also improve the quality. But anyway, guys, um, that's it. This is um, the lighting setup I used, or pretty similar to the lighting setup I used. Um, I hope this helped, and I'm out of here. Peace.